We are at one of the scariest locations in the entire United States, the Randolph County Infirmary. This place feels off tonight. The last time we filmed here, this place scared the absolute hell out of us. Something just touched my hand. Touch your For hand? For the love of God, what was that? It's like immediately I walked in and then the REM pod started going off, almost to like lure me out. Something does not want us here. There's straight up footsteps over there. Dude, I haven't even gotten into my area. Oh, I'm so sketched out right now. It literally just sounded like somebody ran down the hallway directly above us. That's so That's weird. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane, actually. Now we have this thing that's supposed to be negative. It's scaring all of these residents of these locations that we go to. Here. What is that? That sounded like movement. Yeah. I don't know if it was like a chair. <laughs> I'm, I'm just on edge. I don't feel comfortable at all. Again. That's the that's idol's room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like someone's just grabbing the top of it. And it was a full person standing right there. Footsteps like all around. How is that a real life thing? How is that real? All right, guys, welcome back. Tonight, we are at one of the scariest locations in the entire United States. We're at the Randolph County Infirmary. This is not the first building that was on the property. The first structure was actually built in 1850, but by 1899, they built the one that we're in today. This place served as a working farm or an almshouse, you may know it as. We've covered many on the channel, but this one had a very positive history. Yeah, unlike the other ones, the patients here were actually given the opportunity to work if they wanted to. They didn't have to, but they given the opportunity. A lot of them did because it helped pass the time. Now, people actually enjoyed living here so much. There are reports and stories of some patients being discharged and actually coming back years later to actually live here because they enjoyed it so much. This place served as a working farm up until 1994 when it would close and then reopen as a nursing home. It served as a nursing home up until the early 2000s and then it would close for good, being abandoned for about 10 years. Now after being abandoned, it was purchased by the company that owns it to this day. They began restoration work and actually opened up for historical tours and paranormal investigations. We'll plug all their stuff down below guys, so come check it out if you want. It's an amazing, amazing location. Now this place was actually supposed to be our first video in October, but our hard drive crashed and our string of bad luck. So now we're back for week three of the October videos. Yeah, and we're not super excited to be back here, honestly. The last time we filmed here, this place scared the absolute hell out of us. Unfortunately, we lost that footage, like he said, but this place actually drove me out of a solo five minutes into it. It's the first time ever in over 14 years investigating that I could not finish a solo. And as you guys know, for the October videos, we jump right into solos. So that's what we're gonna start out with here at Randolph County Infirmary. I'm going downstairs to the basement where a spirit named Ida hangs out. She was actually a patient here and she suffered from neurosyphilis. Her room was down in the basement for her own safety. They could kind of keep an eye on her down there. Yeah, they would lock her up in her room from about 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. every night, again, just to keep an eye on her so she didn't hurt herself or anyone else. During the day, she was free to roam throughout the building, uh, but they didn't want to send her off to a bigger psychiatric facility because they knew the treatment there wasn't going to be that great, and they actually did care about her. Now, upstairs where Steve is going, there's a gentleman named Champ who actually lived up there. He was an older gentleman. He was known to be kind of grumpy, and he was cleaning his window one day, and the story is that two patients who didn't really like him actually pushed him out of the window. And they ended up getting away with it. Yeah, so this is... Uh, location like I said that we've been to before it really surprised us last time caught us off guard we're excited but not excited to be back here this is a very very freaky location we're jumping right into solos good luck downstairs with Ida I'm going upstairs to champ and uh, we'll meet up here in a little bit and get going with the rest of the investigation yeah let's see how it goes let's go all right guys I'm heading to the basement as per usual I'm starting off with the basement though usually I end with the basement so that's kind of oh it's dark out Whew. oh man I hate this place no offense This place just looks creepy, dude. Oh boy. There's straight up footsteps over there. Dude, I haven't even gotten into my area. Honestly, guys, last time I started with my solo upstairs as well, and I thought I was being smart by sending Dylan to the basement first, and it backfired on me because the basement is where I got absolutely terrified last time. So good luck, Dylan. Let's get in here. Let's go to the second floor, see if we can talk to Champ, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to do my first EVP session here with the lights on just to see if they want to talk to me, um, and then I'll go into IR because I am actually terrified to be down here. Um, if you guys were in my live stream when I first got here, I said this place feels off tonight. Like, I mean, it's a cool old building. You know, it's got that creepy aesthetic, but 
this place is just scary, all right? So, all right, jumping right into EVPs, I'm gonna see if anyone wants to talk to me. I'm gonna do three sessions, ask some questions, and then I'm gonna run up the stairs, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Do you remember us being here about a month and a half ago? All right, guys, here we are on the second floor. These hallways are long and dark. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the freakiest places that I have ever been in my entire life. And I am not super excited to be back here. Are you excited that we've come back to talk to you? If you remember me, can you say my name, please? Three, two, one. All right. I just feel like I'm gonna be, oh, I don't know. It's just got a really sketchy vibe. I'm gonna play this back really quick. And then I'm gonna head back into this room just behind me, see what I can get. Yes, what? Do you remember us being here about a month and a half ago? Yes, I do. Are you excited that we come back to talk to you? Do you remember me? Can you say my name, please? Dylan, right there, dude. Right at the end. Great. All right, I'm gonna head into this room and I'm gonna go back into IR. All right, so this is Champ's room right here in front of me, guys. That's the window that he was allegedly pushed out of um, before he was killed. And so I'm gonna do some EVPs up here. I'm gonna do a couple in the hallway, maybe one in his room. See if we can make contact with anybody that's up here before we meet up with Dylan down in the basement and get started with the rest of the investigation at uh, the Randolph County Infirmary. So let's get into it. Let's do some EVPs. I'm gonna start right out here in the hallway with one. This place has got me on edge already. All right, here we go. Another session. Three, two, one. Can you say the name of this location? Do you know who's upstairs right now on the second floor with Champ? Can you say his name? Where do you want us to go tonight? Is there a location where it's easier to talk to us? Dude, I hate how this room has two doors. Like, I don't know where to look. Like, I cannot put into words how creepy this place is, especially knowing how active it is. I'm, I'm just on edge. I don't feel comfortable at all. Here we go. One, two, three. Is there anybody up on the second floor with me right now? Can I have your name? Can you say Randolph Infirmary? One, two, three. Let's see if they said anything during that first session, guys. Let's see. It's like Randolph. There's something there. I can't make it out, though. Can't quite make it out. Is there anybody up on the second floor with me right now? Can I have your name? Can you say Randolph Infirmary? One, two, three. 
So nothing super clear, some weird like little chattering and whispering. Um, they might be a little bit distant still at this point. We just got in here. So I'm gonna go into Champ's room, do this next session, see if maybe he wants to talk to me a little bit. Um, and then we'll probably come back out here for the last one before we head back downstairs. So let's get into Champ's room. Let's ask him some questions, see if we can make some contact. All right, I'm gonna do one more session, do a couple questions, and uh, then I'm gonna, as I said, sprint up those stairs because it does not feel good in this building whatsoever. I mean, the history is very, very positive at this location, right? They treated them very well, but the vibes are just off tonight, dude. I don't know why. I don't know if it's this thing that's apparently tethered to me. Um, I don't, I'm just not comfortable, dude. All right, three, two, one. Are you from this location? All right, guys, we moved into Champ's room now. I'm gonna ask him some direct questions, try to make contact with him in particular. It's a very, very sad story what happened to him. He did not deserve um, what happened, even if he was a little bit grumpy and not super friendly. He was actually pushed from this window right here um, and passed away outside. So they put some flowers here for him in memory, but let's ask him some questions and see if he wants to talk to us. Here we go. One, two, three. Hi Champ, my name is Steve. Can you say hello? Can you see me? How did you pass away? One, two, three. Let's see if we got any answers from Champ. Can you give me your name so I know how to address you? Were you treated well here? Did you enjoy your time here at the asylum? Three, two, one. There's something right there. Did say, I see you? Is it, I see you? Nothing super clear on the last one. It sounded like he said, I see you. Um, so that shows intelligence. So I guess that's a good thing. But I think we're gonna step back out in the hallway for this last session. We're gonna ask a few more questions and then it's time to meet up with Dylan and uh, get going back down the basement. So let's get back out in the hallway. Let's see what we got on this. Are you from this location? What? It's like three syllables. I can't make it out. I can't make those out. Guys, when I tell you that this place is one of my least favorites to be, this is why. Look at this hallway, okay? And then look what I see. It's awful here. It's so dark and there's so many rooms. Such a freaky place, but let's get into these last questions and see if anybody wants to talk uh, before we go back downstairs. I'm gonna listen to back one more time. Are you from this location? There's so much chatter. So I, know how to address you. I wanna say that sounds like it says Lucifer. I don't, I don't want to say that, but it, that's what it sounds like to me. It's three syllables.
There's so much chatter with each single one of them. One, two, three. I'm gonna be going downstairs now. We'll come back up later. Can you say, see you later? Who's the woman that lives in the basement? Can you say, happy Halloween? One, two, three. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable here though. I'm gonna run back upstairs. I'm gonna meet up with Steve and then we're gonna come back out, uh, down here as a group and see if we can get some clear answers over on Ida's side of the basement. Um, this entire building just feels off tonight and uh, I feel like something does not want us here. I like, see you. Like, I'll see you. I'm gonna be going downstairs now. We'll come back up later. Can you say, see you later? Who's the woman that lives in the basement? Now, we'll come play back, that back. There's something there. Can you say, see you later? Who's the woman that lives in the basement? Is this like we'll Ida Gunkel? We'll I think that later. was her last name. I think it says Can Ida Gunkel. Listen to that. That's actually crazy. Hold on. Who's the woman that lives in the basement? That's crazy. Can you say, happy Halloween? One, two. Well, they didn't wish me a happy Halloween, but it did sound like it said Ida Gunkel, which is her exact name. So that's pretty insane. What a weird first few sessions. It seems like champs up here. There's definitely somebody else in this hallway. Let's get into it, guys. Let's head down to the basement. Probably my least favorite place in this building. We'll do some investigating down there. We'll bring out some equipment. We'll see what we can make contact with. So let's meet up with Dylan. Let's go downstairs. All right, guys, we're back together now. We're down in the basement, right outside of Ida's room, the woman we referenced upstairs who suffered from neurosyphilis. Also right behind Steve uh, down there is the kitchen. A woman named Doris actually worked down there. She was admitted here at the age of 11, and by the age of 15, she was the head cook at this facility. She was discharged at the age of 21, but she felt like she was making a difference. She actually enjoyed her time here, so she came back. Is that the, the REM yeah, pod? Yeah, it's the REM pod already going off in Ida's room. So we have a REM pod in here. There's a mel meter behind Dylan, not on the ground here. And then these boxes actually down there pointing towards the kitchen. Now, Ida's room here is supposed to be one of the most active areas in the building. The basement area is where I had the experience last time that absolutely terrified me. Um, we've talked about it on a few podcasts, so uh, check those out. But it is a location that absolutely just freaks me out down here. I'm never comfortable in this basement. Um, to me, what I heard was Ida at mm -hmm. that point. So. Um, we're going to go from here. We're going to try to get them to interact with this equipment, which they already are. Right. And we'll ask them EVP questions with the DR60s. Something very interesting, too. When you heard her voice, it was when she would have been free. It was right. at, it was 6 a.m. Yeah. So she was free to roam the building. Right. Now we're getting stuff in her room. Right. When which is when she would have been locked up. Right? Exactly. Because she was locked up between 10 and 5, again, for her own safety down here. Right. Um, so I think we just get into it. We ask him some questions, try to get her to keep interacting with that. Yeah. Um, and then we can go into EVPs if we want to as well down here. Yeah. All right. So, Ida, if you do want to continue using that device, can you touch the top of it so it lights up, make some noise? We have all these devices here just for you, you and whoever else wants to use them. Or Doris, if you're down at the end of the hall in the kitchen, we would love to get some of that green bean casserole you're famous for. If you could step out in the hallway and bring us some, that would be amazing. I thought I just heard something in there. In there? Yeah, in her room. I couldn't tell what it was. Couldn't tell if it was like movement. I mean, when I was doing my solo, I was on the other side of the basement and I was right. hearing footsteps like all around me. Right. It was like the facility was still in operation, which is yeah. crazy. So for the guys that don't know, um, every floor is set up the same way, right? So we're in this hallway now, the brick wall behind Dylan. Are you, are you touching that? Could you grab the top of it for us? If you grab the top of it, it just changes colors and makes a different noise. A little bit louder than that one, okay? Just let us know that you're here and you can hear our voice. So if you want to, you can slam a door, knock on a wall, slap a wall, move one of the chairs in these rooms. Speak out loud. 
I think I heard Ida's voice last time I was down here, but I could be wrong. If you're the woman that I heard, can you call out again? Yell as loud as you can for us. So what I was saying a second ago is this wall behind Dylan separates the two hallways. Every floor in this building is built the same way. This building is shaped like a cross. So there's yeah. two long hallways on each floor with a cement wall down the middle. Again, that's, that's the, Ida's uh, room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ida, that, that's very good. Is that you? If it's you, can you grab that device that's sitting on your bed? All it does is make a different noise and light up a little bit. Go up and touch the top of it. It'll light up really cool colors. We brought it here for you to use. We can use it to talk to you. I know it sounds kind of weird, but we can't see you and we can't hear you most of the time. Sometimes we can. Sometimes. That hurt my feelings that night. <laughs> I was shaking. I mean, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah. And, and places don't scare me. This right. place scared the hell out of me. But I don't think it was like malicious, right? Like, no. I don't think she was doing it to scare me. Right. It was just such a bizarre, like, vocal tone. Because when we went back into the, like, the break room to review everything, we heard running upstairs, we heard like knocking on the wall. Right. That was something she was said to do. Right. Like just run around and just right. yell, pretty much. If that's you, you're doing great, Ida. Can you step away for a second so it stops? Just step back. Thank you. Oh, again. Do you want to communicate with us tonight? We'd love to hear you. Or Doris, if you're down in the kitchen, can you join us in this hallway? We have a device in the hallway. If you walk in front of it, it's gonna play some music. That's like constant. It's just consistent, yeah. yeah. Can you step back? So it stops making that noise? Is there somebody down the hall? Can you knock on a door for us? What was that? Yeah, that was, that was a knock down there. That's something I had in my live stream too. I said to knock, they knocked three times. Could you do that again? A little louder maybe? Oh, this one's going off. Yep. Surrounded, per usual. As always. Can you guys both step away from them so they stop? Step back, please. Okay, Ida, bad. can you step away, please? Step away from your bed for a second. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to talk to us? We have these little silver boxes. We can ask you questions directly. You should be able to speak into them so we can hear your voice. That stopped. Where are you? Can you yell or whistle? What was that? Can you yell or whistle? What was that? Can you yell or whistle? What was that? I do not know. It's like a door? It was down by the kitchen. Yeah. Should we go that way a little bit? You can. That's what we got when we were here with Courtney, though. It's like yeah. a door slammed. Yeah. Hello? If you want us to join you down in the kitchen, can you make that noise again? That just stopped, huh? Yeah. Both of them stopped. Yeah. Why don't we move a little bit down the hallway here towards the kitchen? Yeah, because we've heard two noises now two, in that area. Yeah, two big knocks. Um, we can try to do maybe a couple EVPs down here. Yeah. Let's head this way. We're gonna come down here by the kitchen a little bit. Is that okay? They also have reports of this weird shadow down here that they claim, that they claim is an octopus. It looks like an yes. octopus. We saw it during one of our live streams too. You saw it, I didn't I see it. it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Where's that point us? You just follow us down the hallway? Oh. Oh my God. That's kind of wild, actually. Can you step back from that for a second so it stops? Step out of the middle of the hallway, please. Ida, if you came out of your room and followed us down the hall, can you step in front of that device? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Oh, goody. Are you excited that we're back to talk to you? Are you glad we're down here? No. Are you trying to see what we're doing? We're not going to get you in trouble if you follow us down the hallway, don't worry. We're not going to tell on you. Ida, again, just to confirm if that was you, can you step in front of this device here? That's a joke. That's got to be a joke. It goes off when you ask, though. And you're the one who heard her last time. What was that? And you're the one who heard her last time. What was that? And you're the one who heard her last time. What was that? So, I don't. <gasps> yeah. It literally sounded like somebody just sighed. Like, <sighs> Ida, are you in the hallway right now here next to us? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do my solo later. Are you excited for Steve to come down here alone? How'd you get down there? <laughs> Just fast. No. <laughs> Ida, can you come back down here? Step away from that. And then come down here and set this off again, okay? Okay, now set this off if you can. This, this music box here in the hallway. How is that a real life thing? How is that real? Ida, you're doing amazing. We appreciate it. That's very good. Did I hear you when I was here last time? Did you yell for me? If you did, step in front of this device again in the hallway if you can't. How? That's crazy. Mm, yeah, yep. As I had hoped. You should ask if she's excited to talk to you. Because like I said, every time you ask something, it goes off. I'm okay, I think. All right, well. Ida, are you going to yell again when I come downstairs by myself later? Are you going to yell to me? Hell yeah, brother. Please, no. I can't go through that again. <laughs> Do you pick favorite people that you try to talk to? Because Chelsea from Project Fear yeah. had the same thing happen to her. Yeah. They think that was Doris for her, though. Right. When we were down here in one of the lives, too. We heard an audible voice yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. It's, it is kind of weird. If it only goes off when I ask a question, though. It's like it singles you out. It gives me a little bit of concern. You guys are best friends. What do you mean? Ida, do you like me? Are we friends? Is that why you set that off when I ask you a question? Best friends. How is that real? That's crazy. They, I'm very happy about that. I like you too. You sound very excited. Yep. <laughs> I didn't mean to get scared. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to scare me last time. I just didn't expect to hear you that loud. You're, you want to be friends, right? You like me, so you want to be friends? If that's the case, can you set, okay, good. I'm all for that. That's, I'm cool with that. Thank you. Does Steve remind you of somebody? Does he look familiar? Maybe someone who worked here or one of your friends when you were here? That's what I mean. Every time I ask something, she's like, nah, we're not friends, bro. Do I, do I remind you of somebody? That's so That's weird. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane, actually. That's like, hell yeah, brother. Yes, that, it is. That's great. Okay. So I remind you of somebody. Hey, I do. Do you think I'm cute? Is that why you like me? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Got that ghost riz. Okay. I heard you were very, very pretty. Yeah? Okay. We can be friends. I'm cool with that. We're risen up a ghost. That's crazy. Okay. Hey, if, if we take out these devices, can you step back for a second, please? Thank you. If we take out these devices, will you speak into them so we can hear you? If you want to talk to us using the little silver boxes, step in front of that device again so it lights up and we'll use them. That's, that's crazy. Instant. That's absolutely insane. I mean, that's unbelievable. And like, you're doing amazing. We haven't moved. We have not. Yeah, that's what I mean. We, I'm, I literally haven't moved my foot at all. No. 
I don't want to because like I don't want it to set it off. Right. Where I literally my back's against the wall. Yeah. Like, we're same. literally. So you're gonna speak to us in the little silver boxes? If you are, can you set that off again? Just step in front of it, and we'll take them out. Perfect. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Here, um, why don't you come down here a little bit, okay? Okay. You can stand right over here with us if you want to. This is crazy. This is actually insane. That's, that's yeah. very intelligent. You're doing amazing, Ida. You're doing very, very good. We appreciate you. We're gonna ask you a couple questions, okay? So you gotta come up to these little devices. Okay, come up to these little devices in our hands. We each have one, okay? If you speak into them, we'll be able to hear your voice. You can answer our questions. I'm gonna to count to three, and we're gonna ask you a few things, okay? Speak as loudly and as clearly as you can. Ready? Ready. One. Okay, you're ready too? Awesome. And hype. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ida, if this is you, can you say, hi, Steve? Do you like when people come to visit you? Who do I remind you of? Are you excited for us to come back and talk to you? Are you happy we're here? One, two, three. Hey, Ida, if you answered any of those questions, can you step in front of that device again so that it goes off so we know? We're gonna play them back and listen. Perfect. That's, I don't, that's crazy. I mean, I don't, there's no reason for it. But it was like she was standing next to us the entire time. Right. So it, the music box wasn't going off because she was either right, right behind us or, right, yeah, right next to us. Now that's all the way down there again. Is there someone else down here with you? Maybe one of the workers? Superintendent, maybe? Is Doris down here with you, Ida? If Doris is down here, can he set off this music box? Okay, that's cool. We've got friends down here. That's awesome. We're gonna play these back now so we can hear your voice, okay? Ready? Yeah. Ida, this is you. Can you say hi, Steve? There's something on there. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Hold on. Can you step away from that, please, so it stops? Just for a second. Step back so we can hear these voices. Thank you. All right, here we go. Ready? Ida, this is you. Can you say hi, Steve? Hello? Yeah, it's like... Ida, this is you. Can you say hi, Steve? Hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Okay, so it's only says hello and then I do. Right. Okay. That's good. At least. Again, it's intelligence. Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. There's a lot there, but I can make it out. Yeah. That's like a deep voice. Yeah. There's something there. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you excited for us to come back and talk to you? Are you happy we're here? That's, yeah. Huh. That's wild. Again, intelligence though. Also, my battery's dropped like 100 minutes since oh, we got down here. By good the way. news. Yeah, so I definitely think I just down here. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like I just down here. She said Doris is with her. We heard the sigh too. That was weird. It was that so was, loud. It was a very weird voice. 
I, I think we're going to go upstairs. Okay, we're going to move upstairs. And we're going to talk to people on the first floor, but I'll be back down later if you want to talk, okay? I'll come back down and I'll ask you some more questions and you can talk to me then. It'll be just me. Okay. She said, hell yeah, brother. All right. All right, so we're going to go upstairs now, okay? Thank you for talking with us. We appreciate it. We'll be, I'll be back down in a little bit. If, if you're going to talk to me when I come back down, can you set this device off one more time on the count of three? One, two, three. Set this device off if you're going to talk to me when I come back down, okay? Hmm. Maybe she went back into her room? Maybe. Are you still here? Yeah. That's weird. Maybe she was like, oh, you said you're going upstairs. Yeah. I'll go back into the room. Interesting. All right. Well, let's get upstairs. Let's do an Estes and uh, see if we can make contact with on the first floor. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Really quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're going to head to Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky, a place we've been to many times, but we're going to bring a medium with us to investigate, something we've never done. So guys, drop a like. Let's get back in the investigation. All right guys, we moved up to the first floor men's wing. We're going to do the Estes up here because the Estes is the bestest. We have the REM pod over here to my left and then the music box right over here uh, behind Steve. So uh, let's just get into it and see what we get. All right, here we go. As he goes under, guys, I'm gonna be kind of just wandering this hall. Um, not gonna to go too far, because this place is spooky, but uh, I will be kind of walking around. There's a lot of different patient rooms up here um, throughout this hall. And of course, they have creepy things like hospital beds and wheelchairs and all kinds of stuff throughout here, which is great. So he's under, down there, and uh, we'll see what we can get. My name is Steve. Can I have your name? Dylan's over here in the chair. Anything you say to him, he'll- Stop. Stop, okay. Stop talking or stop walking? There's like a woman who just yelled. Really deep voice came through, I couldn't tell what it said. Is everything okay? So when this place started out, these halls were actually co-ed for a while, until 1919. So about 20 years they were co-ed. So men and women could have actually been on the side at one point. I'm good. Okay, that's good. Are you willing to it's speak? Steve. Yep. Do you remember me? You know my name, can I have yours? Again, whatever you say to Dylan, he'll repeat. He should be able to hear you. If you don't want to talk to Dylan, we have a couple pieces of equipment set up in the hallway. If you go up to either one of them, they're gonna light up and make noise. All you gotta do is stand near them or stand in front of them. There's one right here to my left. Wait. What am I waiting for? Are you from this location? It's like a cold breeze. Feels like it's coming from my left side. It's down the hallway that way. I don't feel anything. I don't feel a breeze at all. Are you near Dylan? Are you near Dylan? Are you near Dylan? The deep voice came through again. I couldn't tell what it said. That'll do. Am I getting too close? Who's the woman that's in the basement? Can you There's like a really raspy voice that just came through. That was weird. I don't know. You don't know who she is? I think her name is Ida. Does that sound familiar? Do you know Ida? Maybe Doris? Ron? Why do we need to in run? In there? Run and, and where? Run down there? Why do I need to run down there? Or are you running down there?
Christopher? Christopher? Christopher who? What's Christopher's last name? It's dead or he's dead? Okay. That's fine. That's who we're here to talk to. Anybody I'm trying to sleep? Oh. Are we being too loud? Are we disrupting you? Can you make a noise? Somewhere in this hallway? Knock on Run. Door. Run. Okay. Same like deep voice that's been coming through. What was that? It literally just looked like there was a shadow standing down there. That just actually made my heart stop. I looked over, you can see the railing to the stairs. It looked like there was somebody standing right next to it on the left by this door. It was a full person standing right there. Did I just see you? That was a woman's voice. I couldn't make it out. It was really quick. Again, did I just see you down the hallway by the stairs? It's okay if I did. I just want to make sure I saw you. I think you were standing by the door. Who was that? This hallway feels weird. It feels like you're just being watched from like every area. I, there's nowhere that like doesn't feel like I'm being watched right now. Every hallway, every room, every door. It's pretty uncomfortable in this hallway, I'm gonna be honest with you. How many people are here? Can you tap on Dylan's shoulder? It's funny. It would be. You know. He's sitting here in this chair. There's just like a growl. That's kind of creepy. Oh, all right. Don't growl. He just tapped him on the shoulder. He'll jump. It'll be kind of funny. Or again, if you're somewhere in this hallway and you can hear my voice, can you knock on a door? Close the door. Is that him? Something. Is that who? Who are you talking about? It was like, that guy's here? It was something's here. That guy's here? What guy? Do you know who it is? Do you know his name? Dylan? I just got like really lightheaded too. Yeah, Dylan's here. Is that who you're talking about? Do you remember him? So I said Dylan again? Yeah, you remember Dylan? Do you like Dylan? What do you see right now? What's it like for you? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Is it winter, summer? Me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. We're trying to figure out what happens after we pass away. Do you follow the same timeline as us? You want something. Just want to talk. That's it. We don't mean you any harm. You're not in trouble. We're not here to make you leave. I would like to know who I saw down there at the end of the hall. Do you know who it was? So now, honestly, the creepier vibes are coming from down there at that end, past Dylan, past the camera. We're probably two thirds of the way down the hall towards this end, whereas the door to the break room is all the way back there. This end feels really weird right now, like somebody's watching me from the end of the hall. 
Is there somebody down there in the big room at the end? It's weird that that's how it feels because I saw the shadow at the other end. But There's there, some voice that came through. I can't tell what it said, though. There is a staircase at each end of the hall, though, so I guess they could have gone upstairs and came back down that end. But again, guys, this just goes to show you, right? That music box. I'm there. I'm there. You're, you're down here. You're at this end. I can, I can feel you. I can sense you. I know you're down there. It's okay. Are you just trying to check this out and see what's going on? I said, I feel like there's somebody down there. And he says, I'm there. But again, guys, like the music box hasn't gone off at all up here. So that just goes to show you downstairs. Get out. Why do you want us to leave? Are you talking to us? Or is there somebody with us that you don't want here? Some unwanted person that's come with us. It literally just sounded like somebody was running upstairs. It literally just sounded like somebody ran down the hallway directly above us. Hello? Oh my God. What is that? It just sounded like a door opened down there. There was a click and then I heard like a drag. Did you just open a door down, down the hall? Or is that whoever's running upstairs? That's what I, something. Who just ran upstairs and opened a door? That was so loud, I cannot believe that. So like someone went, uh-huh. You did, okay, perfect, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that was you that I heard. We're gonna come upstairs in a minute and talk. Is that okay? We're gonna move upstairs now and talk to whoever's up there, okay? Can you say goodbye? Or let us know if you're gonna come upstairs. Are you gonna come upstairs with us? We're just going up one floor. All right, I'm gonna pull him out. We're gonna move up to the second floor and uh, see what we can communicate with up there. Here's the fun part. All right. Did that make sense? Yeah, that was weird. What happened? Uh, it's just weird. Okay, first of all, I heard somebody run upstairs and then I heard a door open. And I said, did you just run upstairs and open a door? And you go, mm-hmm. Oh. And I was like, okay, that's fine, I guess. You kept saying, he's here, yeah. it's, it's him, like all this super like- Ominous. Yeah. yeah, like not being specific. Like, I feel like we always get this deep voice that comes through the past few locations yeah. that we've been to, and it always says ominous stuff like that. Yeah. And then, oh, I got, so I thought I saw a shadow down there by the door and by the stairs. Um, like the break room door? Yeah, like standing right, so like right next to the door between like the door and the, the edge of the staircase. You can see like the newel post. You can see the end of it. Yeah. It was just to the left of that in front of the door, blocked out that light. Um, and then I felt like super creeped out, like I was being watched from everywhere. And then all of a sudden that went away and it felt like I was just being watched down here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I feel like it's just down here, it's down here. And you said, I'm there. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. When I was doing the live stream, everything was like localized down yeah. here too. So, nothing went off, none of the equipment went off, music box didn't go off, ramp pod, nothing. Um, oh, weird. weird, weird knocks, weird footsteps, um, running upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna talk to them and uh, see what we can get. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, we moved upstairs. We're on the second floor now here at the Randolph County Infirmary. We're actually in the women's wing portion of the building. We're right outside of the nursery. So there's a bunch of toys that other investigators have left here uh, for the kids to play with and stuff. We have a music box down the hallway here, REM pod behind Dylan over here by the staircase. But we're probably gonna focus pretty heavily on EVPs up here because we haven't really done many EVP sessions tonight. The first time we came here, we had a ton of audible noises up here, people knocking on doors and running down the hallway and stuff. So hopefully we get some of that too. But uh, you said you heard someone running down the hallway and you yeah, were downstairs. It sounded like somebody literally ran down the hall and. and it sounded like they opened a door. It didn't sound like a door closed. It sounded like somebody like turned a handle and opened the door. It was really, really bizarre. So I think we focus on that, see if we can hear anything like that again while we're up here, and then do some EVP sessions. Yeah. My name is Steve. This is Dylan. We just came here to talk to you, ask you a few questions, learn about what life was like here. We have a couple devices set up in these hallways here. If you walk in front of them or if you touch the top of them, they'll light up. One of them makes noise, one of them plays a song. They just allow us to communicate a little better. 
I think I just heard somebody up here a minute ago run down the hall and open a door. Can you knock on whatever door that is? Again, we're just here to communicate. I mean, you're no harm. We're not here to make you leave. We heard the conditions here are pretty good. You were treated well. You were fed well. We just want to hear the stories of this location from you. We have these devices that can record your voice. We're going to ask you a few questions. If you can come up to us and answer them, that would be great. But first, we're going to give you the floor. We're going to record. You can tell us anything you want. We're going to count to three and not say anything. Any message you have, any questions you have for us, now will be the time for you to ask them, okay? All you have to do is speak into them as loudly and as clearly as you can. We should be able to hear your voice. I'm going to go down the hall a little bit. Okay. And you stay over there, and then we'll just do a quiet one. Yeah. Well, I came down here a little bit, okay? Again, come up to us and speak as loudly and as clearly as you can. We're going to count to three. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's uh, see what we got. See if they had any messages for us during that quiet time. Yeah, it's like. Get, is it get the F out of here? Yeah. So, of the women's way? It's like, it's get the F out of something. something. Yeah, yeah, I can't make out the rest of it, though. It's, I don't know. Weird. That's like same. multiple words. It yeah. starts off like the same thing. Though. Yeah. Play that back again. I can't tell I can't, what that says. Yeah. The last two words are wicked vocal too, yeah. but I don't know. That's weird. Um, so let's ask some questions. Yeah. <laughs> See if they're a little more direct, a little clearer with their responses, but. So let's do one right here, and then we can move throughout the hallway. Split up a little bit, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to ask you questions now, okay? Same thing. Come up to these devices in our hands. Speak as loudly and as clear as you can. Answer our questions for us, okay? We'd really appreciate it. Here. Yep. One, two, three. Whoever's up here with us right now, can we please have your name? Do you recognize either of us? Can you say Randolph County? Were you treated well here? Who ran down the hall? Are you excited for us to split up again later tonight? One, two, three. There's some weird light play down there. Yeah, I was looking at that. Because um, you can see this ambient light that comes in on the ground. Yeah. They probably can't see it in the IR, but no. there's like weird ambient light that comes in on the ground there. And every once in a while, I just feel like I see it get blocked out. I kept seeing stuff in like the doorway down there. It's yeah. almost like something's like pacing. Right. Something's pacing back and forth. It's weird. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Let's see if they uh, see if they had anything to say. something there. Yeah.
I did. Yeah. And yeah. goes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did. That's the clearest one so far, too. That's weird. That's though. the clearest one, though. It's I did. Yeah. So it's like, okay, they acknowledge that they ran down the hall, but right. that's the only thing that they answered super clear. It's interesting. Let's see if this one got anything yeah. different. Take a full uh, silence. Yeah. I can't make out what that says. It's like a full sentence. Yeah, though. it's like a handful of words. Yeah. It's weird. They're not super clear. They seem a little bit distant. Yeah. And we've been seeing them light playing the shadows down there. I think we go down that end of the hallway a little bit, ask a few more questions and see what we can get down that way, see if they're a little more um, you know, open to talking maybe. Right. You said when you were on the other side too during your first solo, you got some good EVPs over yeah. there. So, so let's go down towards the end of this hall and see if we can get that way. Yeah. Um, but I do want to point out, guys, like the music box has not gone off once since we were in the basement. Right. Not a single time. Like so that it just puts that it. right. That puts that much more validity to that experience. It was on command. Mm -hmm. When I ask questions, it hasn't gone off since. Right. Not a single time. It's it was bizarre. so weird too because like we after off camera we were trying to kind of like see if it was us. Right? right. We walked in front of it. We walked up to it. It's you have to be within five feet yeah. or something crazy. It's it's not. It was not picking us up. But we didn't move. We were both no. backs to the wall. I mean, that's that was such an intelligent session we had down there earlier. And again, it hasn't gone off since. Right. And then we heard the side too. Bizarre. Just like everything adding up. Can't wait to go down there by myself soon. Yeah, you had a great time last time. So. Yep. Great. So let's move down this way, guys. We'll see what we can get. Found it. See, like there it is, right there. Dylan kicked it. All right, so. So now it doesn't pick us up. Like you have to be close to it. Right, all right, so we're at the end of the hall now. Do some right here at this like cross section. Right. That's the other thing building. This building is shaped like a cross, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so here's the end. It's got a couple more hallways going each way and a couple bigger rooms at the end that they would use for like church services and games and rec spaces and stuff like that. Right. Um, the men's wing is right here. So this is the same thing. That hallway goes that way to the men's wing. And then this is women's, so. Let's do some right here. Yeah. And uh, kind of in this cross section here and see what we can get. Ask some more questions. So now anyone on the women's side or the men's side, we have these devices again that can record your voice. My name is Steve, this is Dylan. If you haven't heard, come on down here and speak into these devices if you can. Answer as loudly and as clearly as you can and we should be able to hear your voice and whatever you have to say to us. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Can we please have your name? Can you see us? What was your job while you were here? You just make a noise behind me? One, two, three. That was loud. Yeah. That was definitely in this room though. 100%. 100% in that room. I don't know what it could have been. No. It's like somebody knocked on something. Like one of the chairs maybe or the desk? Yeah. I can't even see in there, so. No. All right, ready? Can we please have your name? That's fine. Can we please have your name? Christopher? Yep. Well, here goes Christopher. Yeah. Can we Christopher. Yeah. What was that? Where did that come from? That was down here. That was 100% at that end of the hall. I just heard the echo. Sounded like somebody knocked on a door. Yeah. Can you do that again? 
I'm going to knock. Can you knock back? What's in what here? What is that? That sounded like movement. Yeah. I don't know if it was like a chair. All right, let's play this back. Yeah. Christopher. I mean, that's... that's... Yeah. Yes. Can you see us? It goes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did? Uh, yeah, I it did. It was quick. It's like, yeah. I did. I don't know. That's See, bizarre. But Christopher, but I, you said that during the Estes too. Yeah. I, I don't think it's Christopher Broadwell. No, because usually whenever he identified himself, he would say Christopher First Broadwell. First and last name, right? Like, I'm sure there was 100 people here named Chris at some point, you right. know, throughout the years. So it's possible. We also didn't touch on, there's a potter's field out back with over 50 people buried here. Yeah. Um, and unmarked graves. So who really knows who Christopher could be in this instance? Right. In the 100, what? It's sort of an 18, yeah, 130 year history. 130 years, yeah. yeah. I don't know. But then the knock down there, the footsteps in there. Let's, uh, let's see what yours got. Yeah, let's see. Can we that picked it up too. Yeah, it like. Can we that one sounds like it says, I'm Christopher. Yeah. Can we I'm Christopher. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hey, I sound like it's yeah. Something, something, yeah. Yeah. It's like something, something, yeah. Okay, so they're way more talkative down here. Right. Which way it would make sense clear. It sounds like male voices coming right. through. So it's like on this side. Yeah. And that's what we were hearing though. We heard footsteps down here. We heard bangs. We saw the shadows down here. And we get clear EVPs down here. It is kind of weird though. We came down here and we heard the knock down that from that end. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's bizarre. I yeah. think we do one more round because they're talking pretty clear right now. Right. Um, and then final solos. You yeah. get to return to the basement. Yep. I mean, Ida said she was excited to see you, so mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Feelings, That'll be a good time. Feelings mutual. Yeah. Can't wait. You look so excited. I love it here. All right, let's do one more session, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. All right, ready. We're gonna ask you a few more questions. You did really good that time. We heard you. Nice and loud. You spoke pretty clearly. If you can do that again, it'd be great. Sure, it'd be cool if you did. Something just touched my hand. Touched your For hand? For the love of God, what was that? Is there a spider web over here? I don't think so, I don't see any. Oh my God, actually. Something just touched my hand. That was bizarre. What did it feel like? Literally felt like something like, uh, give me your hand. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but it literally felt like something went, and like oh. rubbed down my, like I can still, like my fingers tingling. Right. That felt so weird. Yeah, I don't see any like spider. I was like right there. here. I wasn't even like, oh, that was bizarre. It literally felt like somebody just like caressed my hand. <laughs> I mean, Christopher's like, hey. He's like, hey man. That's crazy. Oh, that's bizarre. That, all right. Weird well, flex. I guess let's ask some questions. Yeah. That was crazy. All right, let's, uh, here we go. It's probably just Ida. It's like, hey, hmm. see you soon. Thanks for that. One, two, three. Did somebody just touch my hand? Is it easier to talk to us when we're alone? Can you say happy Halloween? What is the name of the town that we're in right now? One, two, three. All right, let's, let's play see. this last one back. Here we go. Something there. Yeah. Oh, this is happy. Yeah, it sounds like happy. happy. Is it easier to talk to us when we're alone? Can you say happy Halloween? 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 Can you say
Can you say happy Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a good no, I don't know. They tried. Yeah. Happy. They started to. Interesting. Is it easier to talk to us when we're alone? Is it easier to talk to us when we're alone? Is it easier to talk to us when we're alone? Can you say happy Halloween? Not that's super clear. Clear. No. That's bizarre. That's super, super weird. They quieted down quite a bit. That last session was a little quieter. Yeah. Um, but it's about that time. About that time. We've had a weird night so far. Yeah. It's been super, super strange. Um, I'm heading back down to the basement. So let's go uh, get ready, get our stuff, and do these last solos. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation here at the Randolph County Infirmary, do not forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. We got two more weeks left here in the October video series, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into these solos. All right, guys, it is that part of the night. It is time for the second solos. Steve's going down to the basement where last time this happened, you heard what we think is Ida. Yeah. I'm going up to the second floor where Steve started out uh, over by Champ's room, and uh, we'll see what we get. I'm really not excited. Like, I am dreading going down there. This place really messed with me last yeah. time. Like, people don't see me freaked out. I don't usually get freaked out. This place freaked me out. I'm not excited to go back down there by myself. Um, it, it was just such a weird noise. Like I can't even explain the sound to anybody. Like I, it's something I've never experienced before. I'm good with not experiencing it again. It's gonna be the back of my mind. That's all I'm gonna hear as I'm going down there. But well, she said she was excited to see you, so. Yep, that's great. <laughs> and we're gonna go down there. We're gonna do some questions. Um, see if we can get some more direct contact. I do have the music box down there. See if that goes off again. You're going upstairs. Um, Champ was talking to him earlier. He was pretty yeah. clear with his answers. So try that again, go in his room. But uh, good luck. I'll see you in a little bit. And uh, hopefully I last more than four minutes on this solo yeah. this time. We'll see what happens. Good luck. Well, I'm going up the stairs this time. That's kind of cool. I also just love the font that they use. Something's already going off. Oh, good. All right, guys, here we go. This light is getting turned on for sure to go down there. I am not looking forward to this at all, guys. This is one of my least favorite places to do solos. Turn that light off and uh, we'll head back down here to the basement where I got the absolute hell scared out of me last time. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so that's good, I guess. Um, I don't understand, that's like pinging. That's like someone's grabbing a hold of it. Can you step away from that, please? Just step back so it stops. I can use that to talk to you. That's insane, I don't, this is Champ's room. So I have the millimeter set up right on this bed here, as you can see. Um, REM pod's going nuts though. The music box is about, I don't know, halfway down this hall. I'm gonna be down here in what was the butcher shop. They also use it as a makeshift morgue for a while. So here we are, we're in this room where I was last time when I heard one of the scariest things I've ever heard in my entire life. So let's do this again. Hopefully a good omen for how this session's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna hang around Champ's room though. Steve was saying he was getting good EVPs in this area. And last time I came up here for my solo, the first time we filmed here, I had some really good stuff up here as well with the mel meter and uh, just like audible noises. Audible noises is kind of redundant. I don't know why I keep saying that, but here we go, IR time. A Little bit of ambient light from outside, so that's nice, but hallways are definitely scary. All right, I'm gonna start off with a quiet one and then uh, we'll go from there. So on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's play this back. All right. If you're up here with me, if you're one of the men's patients here, the Randolph County Infirmary, can you make a loud noise? 
or set off one of these devices I've set up. My name is Dylan. I'm just here to talk to you. I love the history of this location. I'd love to hear your experience, how you were treated here. That can't be real. <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. You see why I don't like it down here? You see why I like don't, don't wanna be down here by myself? This isn't my favorite place in the world, guys, but uh, they seem super excited that I'm here and ready to talk. So I'm gonna get into some questions now. Let's ask them some questions and uh, see if they have anything nice to say to me this time. Here we go. It's going nuts again. It's like someone's just grabbing the top of it. Thank you. If you're grabbing that, can you step back so it stops? I don't know if I've ever seen one of those just hold like that. Can you make other colors light up? I don't understand that. It's just like holding it. If you're setting off the REM pod down here, can you come into Champ's room, the second door here, and touch the device on his bed? It does the same exact thing. If you touch the top of it, it's gonna light up and make some noise. One, two, three. Who just screamed? Do you recognize me? I mean, if I want to do EVPs, I'm going to have to reset it. I don't know if they just want me down here. Because we were getting some good EVPs down in like the cross section down there. But I do want to talk to Champ. Oh, I looked directly at the light. That hurt a lot. All right. I'll try this again. If you want to talk to me, come down to Champ's room. What's the name of this facility? One, two, three. Let's see. So I'm gonna do a quiet session. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Just come down here, speak into this little silver box in my hand. I should be able to hear your voice, okay? I'm gonna give you like 30, 45 seconds. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Speak your mind. Tell me how you're feeling today. If it's cold outside, if it's warm outside, whatever you're thinking, okay? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nothing. Nothing on that one. Maybe all they wanted to do is scream at me for the night and then that was gonna be it, which I wouldn't be too upset with if that's all I got while I was down here. I can say I've officially um, lasted longer than I did last time for my solo. So uh, let's get into round two of questions. Let's listen back. What? Get me out? I don't know what that said. It was like, get me out. I don't, I was kind of loud. Are you stuck here? One, two, three. Who's the head cook? What month is it? Do you know somebody named Christopher? One, two, three. Let's see if they said anything that time. Um, I don't know, it, that first scream is pretty awful. The second session, really quiet, so maybe this time they answered some more stuff. 
I don't know, guys, this is a, such a weird place. Such, such a weird place. All right, I'm gonna try asking you some more questions. If you could get a little closer and speak into the silver box, I'm gonna go into Champ's room, okay? Hi. So, like I just said, if you speak into this, you should be able to hear me, or I should be able to hear you. I'm a little nervous, can't tell. All right, three, two, one. Can you see me? Is it okay that I'm in your room right now? Do you like when people come to talk to you? Do you know what month it is? Three, two, one. All right, let's see. Let's see. Who's the head cook? What month is it? Do you know somebody named Christopher? One, two, three. Literally nothing. Again, nothing. Absolute silence. So it's literally like I start down here, I give them the floor, they just scream as loud as they possibly can, and then that's it. No more communication. They haven't said anything since then at all. Not a single thing. Let's get into uh, one last round of questions here tonight before we call it a wrap here on Randolph County Infirmary. I'm ready to get out of this basement, even though we're not catching a lot of stuff, like just the vibes down here are super off. Plus everything I experienced down here last time, like this is a really uncomfortable place for me to be. So let's get into this last session, see if we can finally get some more answers, more responses, and then uh, that'll be it and we'll meet up with Dylan. Here we go. Let's see what we got. That's like a full sentence. Is it okay to go to your room right now? Do you like when people come and talk to you? Do you know what's possible? It's like a full sentence. Both of those questions had full sentences. The first one had a scream. I don't know what he was trying to say. Um, I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't, this place is just weird, all right? I think for this last one, I'm gonna walk towards the door here. Let's go over this way and we'll stand near the door. See if we can get anything clear out here. We'll stand in the hallway, I guess. Super good idea. Here we go. One, two, three. Is there anybody in the basement with me? And now the, the REM pod's going off. So it's like they're trying to lure me out. So consisting of all night, it seems like Steve asks a question, right? He gets a response. I ask a question, I don't. What if it's getting to the point, what, whatever's following us, right? Whatever's tethered to me, apparently. What if it's scaring the residents of these locations so much that they don't even want to talk to me? Uh, that's actually an interesting angle I haven't even thought of. All right, I'm gonna ask them that actually. Three, two, one. Can you see what's tethered to me or what's been following me? Can you say, hello, Steve? Do you recognize anybody down here? Is there anyone with me that you don't recognize that's not from this building? We're gonna leave now. Can you say goodbye or good night? One, two, three. Let's see. Does this thing scare you? How do I get rid of it?
Do you know who's downstairs right now in the basement? Three, two, one. It's very interesting though. Like some locations will just pick, like pick people that they want to talk to, but last time we were here, I mean, they talked to both of us. I find it very interesting that this attachment thing is making itself more known, and it seems like more locations, they report that they're scared of what was following us. So, you know, what if it's getting to the point where they just don't want to talk to me, they don't want to acknowledge me because this thing is following me? You know what I mean? This is, I don't know, it's taking such a weird turn. I didn't even think about that all night. Let's see what we got. What? It's like, it's not good something. What? It is not good for you, maybe? I can't make out the last two. The second to last one was like a full sentence, though. Is anybody in the basement with me? Can you say, hello, Steve? Do you recognize anybody down here? Is there anyone with me that you don't recognize that's not from this building? We're going to leave now. Can you say goodbye or good night? Nothing. Okay, that's so weird. Like, that's such a weird solo. An absolutely, like, super loud scream at the beginning of it, and then silence. Like, radio silence, nothing. The music box didn't go off, not a single response. Weird. What a bizarre, bizarre final solo. I'm going to do one final session, and then I'm going to head downstairs, and that's going to be a wrap for Randolph. It's been such a weird night. All right, let's see. Three, two, one. Do you not want to draw attention to yourself? Is this thing intimidating? Am I in danger? Does this thing mean me harm? Is there someone who protects me? We're gonna head out here in just a minute. Can you say good night, goodbye, or come again? Three, two, one. It's like we try not to focus on it too much because we come to these locations to talk to the residents of this location, you know, the people who live through the conditions here. But it's like sometimes this thing, whatever it is, makes itself so known that it's hard to ignore, you know what I mean? It can be a little frustrating sometimes. Let's play this last one back though. See what we got. What? It will hurt me? What does that say? Is that get that out? We're gonna head out of here in just a minute. Can you say goodbye? Goodbye. We're coming again. Get the F out. I don't know, dude. This this place has been so weird. It's like the minute I went into Champ's room though, he was known to be kinda of like a grumpy spirit, but he is you know, he said he'd be very active. Last time I was here I had a great conversation with him. 
But now that this attachment thing or whatever it is is more prevalent, it's like immediately I walked in and then the REM pod started going off, almost to like lure me out, right? I don't know, it's been such a weird night. Um, I'm gonna run downstairs, I'll meet back up with Steve, see if he survived the basement down where Ida is, but um, that's gonna be a wrap on Randolph. But that is gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna go meet up with Dylan. I'm gonna see what happened to him. We're gonna wrap this up for you. And then we're getting out of here, guys. This will probably be our last trip out here for a while. This place really sticks with you. It's intense, it's loud. It's pretty frightening, I'm gonna be honest with you, especially this basement. I don't love it down here. I'm ready to get out of here. Let's get upstairs, guys. We got two more weeks in spooky season, two more videos for October, so don't miss them. Let's get out of here and uh, get out of the next spot. All right, guys, that is officially a wrap here on the Randolph County Infirmary in Winchester, Indiana. Another super, super bizarre night here. This place is definitely intelligent, has a lot of activity. I just find it very interesting. It almost seems like they pick people. Like downstairs, uh, they picked you, especially. Um, last time we were here, Champ, we had a really good discussion. So it's like, you find certain spirits that you resonate with, it almost yeah. seems like. I don't know why Ida picks me. She said I remind her of somebody, so that's super interesting. Um, it's such a weird location. It's one that obviously freaks us out a lot, but it's one of those spots that you definitely wanna come back to because the activity is so prevalent, it's so loud, it's a really good place to come and actually like research and try to figure out and get these answers because you're bound to have something every time you're here. This place is also really cool during the day. Like we said, we're gonna link all their stuff down below. They do day tours here, so definitely check this place out, whether it is for an overnight or just daytime uh, tour. But uh, it's about that time, get back on the road and uh, to our next location. Yeah, I'm glad to be out of the basement. Let's yeah. get out of Randolph. Um, on to the next spot, guys. Two more videos for October, don't miss them. But uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do it.